I was talking yesterday to a very, very successful entrepreneur. A guy who has made, sold, and created more and more eight-figure businesses than most people I know. So successful, and he's only getting more and more success by the day. We were talking about how he built his businesses and his biggest eye-opener, and it came to him that at one point, he was successful, or what he thought was successful. He was earning more money than he had ever earned. His business was growing more and more than he had ever earned. So he wanted to take his wife on holiday, on a nice vacation where they could chill out and kind of reflect and treat themselves to the work that he had been putting in growing his business. And this is where it kind of changed. He set out that on vacation he was going to work for an hour or so each day. And then an hour, turn to two, turn to three, his phone was with him all the time. Before he knew it, his wife, his daughter were out there on vacation and he was stressed. He couldn't switch off. He seemed healthy. And he didn't realize it at the time, but he was so, so stressed. Got to the end of the vacation and he thought he'd had a good time. But his wife told him, look, I'm not doing that again. I'm not going there and having you not being present through the vacation. And this was the same with his home life. We we're actually speaking on my podcast, revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash podcast. Cheeky little plug there. And he got past his vacation and realized he needed to do something about it. You see, stress can be a killer. I've told you the story about my dad, who was amazing in sales, amazing as a leader, amazing as a manager, died at 47, healthy on the Monday, had a stroke, died and was dead on the Saturday. Now this guy was really, really stressed. Needed to do something about it. Kind of lacking in energy. He decided, after speaking to one of his friends, a guy who he respect, who was getting coached, that he needed to do something about his health. Go to the gym. I haven't got time for the gym. Go to the gym. Start doing something about it. And he did. He went to the gym, started feeling great. Started feeling more energy started getting better results in his business. And when I asked him that question of what did health, what did working out, what did sorting your nutrition out bring to your business, bring to your life, bring to your relationships? This is when it kind of surprised me because I'd never heard it put this way before. And believe me, I've spoke to a lot of entrepreneurs. I've worked with multiple entrepreneurs all around the world that are really successful. Successful in marketing. And when I've asked their advice, and when I've said, look, what did my coaching bring to you? It wasn't put this way. It's put amazing ways before, but not this specific way. So I asked him, what did health bring to your life and at first he said I could not fit the gym in didn't have time for it but as soon as I started making it fit in the gym I was present I was there there was no other worries I was there in the gym I was present and from there it reflected back on my other aspects of my life my business thrived. My business went through the roof and my relationship with my wife and my daughter, they leveled up some way I can never explain. Health, health is not an option. Health is someone, something, someone, everyone, every single entrepreneur needs in order to reach their true potential. If you need to be present, Maybe health is something you can focus on. If you feel a bit overwhelmed, feel a bit stressed, maybe health is something it's time to focus on. 
If you want to just reach out and have a chat about this, do so. Drop me a message, drop me an email, ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com or just click contact me on my website. And let's talk. Maybe it's time that you, you became present in every single aspect of your life.